channel. So today I'm going to show you how to meal prep um, for meals when you have eczema. So I have a couple papayas down here and what I like to do with these is I'm going to freeze them and then use them to make like smoothies and like nice cream later on because I don't really like the texture of papaya. So I'm going to teach you guys how to cut this sucker and de-seed it because much like a squash, there's a bunch of little seeds that are in the middle of it. Okay, so we're going to chop this sucker in half. It's ripe, so it's pretty easy to cut. And you guys see all those little, like, <laughs> runaway beads? <laughs> That's its seeds. And now we're going to use our little nifty spoon here and get all these little seeds out. So make sure not to remove too much of the flesh while you're doing this. <laughs> okay guys, so now we have two little squash fruits papaya <laughs> halves here. And I'm gonna chop them further because I'm gonna dig the pulp out with a spoon. And this is not tasty, so we're not gonna eat this. So I'm gonna chop this. Yes, I love having a cameraman. They'll get to see how hard this actually is. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, that's not like the easiest thing in the world to do, but similar to a mango, you could probably take a glass and slide it down the glass. So do you guys know that hack? Because I'll show you. I'll show you that hack. So you can slide it like this down the glass and it's like it's a hack for getting the skin off. Actually, this works a lot better. Okay, cool. Screw the spoon. Choppy choppy now? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna choppy 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 this into cubes and then put it in this freezer bag. And my trick to freezing this without all of the fruit clumping together is you want to try to store it in the freezer flat. So try to lay out the fruit all flat. So if like, for example, if all the fruit sits at the bottom like this and you store it like that, it's gonna get very hard because fruit has water in it. So if you lay it out like this, we'll be set. So I'll show you what this looks like. So the papaya is sitting in the freezer. That's going to take a couple hours to freeze up. But in the meantime, I am going to meal prep some red lentils and navy beans. So Yeah. Okay, so I poured about a cup of these red lentils and we're going to Pour it in the pot, and then I'm going to do about three cups of water added to this, and then we're going to put it on the stove. Okay, now it's you. Okay, I ended up only using two cups of water to this one cup of lentils, <laughs> and that should be enough, and we're gonna let that cook. So, to the oven we go. Technical difficulties. Okay, so we're going to leave that on high for a little while until it starts boiling and then we're going to pop the lid on it and let it steam for a little while until they get all lentily onto the beans. There we go. These are navy beans. So this isn't a super common type of bean, so I just wanted to show you guys up close what they look like. They just taste like normal beans. They're really yummy and uh, they're going all over the place. So. I'm on the floor. <laughs> I wanted to 
talk to you guys real quick and just give you a little update on my eczema. So in the video, it was a video where I did like what I eat in a day with eczema. I showed you guys what it looked like, but my camera wasn't very focused that day, so I wanted to show you again. So I have it on this arm, and it's taking up this whole space, wrapping around my arm. I have a little bit on my thumb, moving on to this arm, a little bit there. Got this patch here, and then I have a whole bunch of patches that go all the way up the backs of my arms. And I have some on the backs of my knees as well, but I'm going to heal this, I swear. It is getting better. It's not itchy anymore because I've been avoiding the things that make it itchy. So I realized that for me, I'm extremely sensitive to that chemical I keep talking about, salicylates. And so carrots, for example, are supposed to be eczema safe for the eczema diet and for me they have small amounts of that chemical and they make me itch so right in my nerve right there I get this extremely horrible like sensation and it's just like constantly on my nerve and if you have eczema you know exactly what I'm talking about it's just like something constantly on your nerve and so avoiding things like carrots and beets and of course like the big no-nos. So like some big no-nos are like broccoli and spinach and tomatoes are absolutely out. And since avoiding those, I'm not itchy. Um, I was very stressed out the last couple days and that made my eczema worse. So if you have eczema, please be careful. Um, please take precautions to de-stress yourself. Take time for yourself because I've noticed that it keeps spreading the more stressed I get. So, just an update on that, and then we will get back to cooking. These lentils are taking a lot quicker to cook than my little bean friends over there. So, these are going to take a little while to cook. So, if you did want to do this whole meal prep, I would start with these beans and let them cook while you're prepping the papaya. So, I'm actually going to pop a lid on this one and let it steam for maybe 15 more minutes, 15 to 20, and they should be done and then these beans will probably take about 30 minutes. Anyway, <laughs> so our lentils are done cooking and they look like this. Our beans are still gonna take a little while, but I'm gonna show you that I just like package this up in this container like this and then I'll put that in the fridge. So this is super helpful, especially if you work during the week. So what I like to do is just put one ingredient in one box. That way I can create unique meals each day and I don't have to keep like eating the same meal like the bodybuilders do, like the chicken and broccoli and rice meal. So this way I can just like, you know, get a container at night, say, oh, today some lentils and some beans and then some sweet potato and then tomorrow I can like change it up and do something else. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are going to try meal prepping, like this video and comment down below. Thank you guys. And <laughs> do with that? You gotta pat it a few times, you know? <laughs> you gotta wake up the food. So, so we're waking it up, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> this is like Justin.